वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ शॉप्त पोर्णी फ्रॉम बाय लाइव होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट आल्फा बीटा एंड गामा डाइवर्सिटी हाउ टू कैलकुलेट आल्फा बीटा एंड गामा डाइवर्सिटी फ्रॉम अ हाइपोथेटिकल रीजियन एंड वाट आर दोज एक्चुअली ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी देर आर थ्री लेवल्स ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी The first one is genetic diversity, second one is species diversity, and third one is ecosystem diversity. And under species diversity, we get three components of diver biodiversity known as alpha, beta, and gamma diversity. So, first of all, what is species diversity? Species diversity means diversity of different species within a community in terms of their species richness and relative abundance. I have taught you what is species richness, what is relative abundance in my previous video. You may also check out those videos. Okay, and under species diversity, we get these three components: alpha, beta, and gamma diversity. So now, what is alpha diversity? Alpha diversity is a local diversity which is expressed as total number of species present in a habitat. Okay. total number of species present in a habitat that means it is uh, similar to species richness second is beta diversity which refers to the difference in species content from one habitat to the other okay so beta diversity is actually a type of comparison between species content of dif two different habit habitats okay the next one is gamma diversity it is a regional diversity expressed as total number of all the species present in all the habitats within a region that means in a large region there may be um, various habitats okay and the total number of all the species present in all the habitats of that region is termed as gamma diversity so let's take a look on the example and you will get it very easily see here there are three habitats habitat a One a habitat two and habitat three. Habitat one has uh, how many types of species A, B, P, and Q. So there are four types of species present in habitat one. So alpha diversity of habitat one is four. Next habitat two has how many types of species A, B, C, then Q and R. That means five types of species. So alpha for habitat two is five. Next is habitat three, which have P Q R A and B. That means five types of species. So alpha diversity for habitat three is also five. Now how to find out beta diversity? I have told you beta diversity is nothing but the comparison. Okay, between uh, different habitats. So first of all, to find out beta diversity, write down all the species found in all the habitats given. Okay, so we can see that here how many species are found? A B C P Q and R. That means six types of species are found. A, B, C, P, Q, R. Now, tick mark on each the habitat which species are found. Like in habitat one, A, B, and P, Q are found. In habitat two, A, B, C, and Q and R are found. And habitat three, A, B, and P, Q, R are found. Okay. So now compare. Each habitat with each other. Okay, so that will be your beta diversity. Beta diversity. So beta diversity for habitat one versus two will be. See how to find out beta diversity. Write the alpha diversity of habitat one minus common species of habitat one and two plus alpha diversity of habitat two minus common species of. Uh, uh, habitat one and two. So how many? Uh, what is the alpha diversity of habitat one? It is four. And how many species are common between one and two? Let's see. One species, two species, and three species are common. So four minus three plus alpha two is five. Five minus three. So three is your beta diversity between one and two. So that means there are difference in three species between. Uh, uh, one and two habitat one and two. What are those species? C, P, and R. C, C is only present in two. P is only present in one. R is only present in two. Okay, so these three species are the main difference between habitat one and two. Now going to the uh, beta diversity between 
habitat one and three. Okay, so see habitat one and three. How many species are uh, common between one and three? Let's take a look. One species, two species, three species, and four species. So alpha one equal to four minus common species between. Uh, these two habitats is also four plus alpha two equal to five and common species between those two are four. So total will be the total difference will be one and that is R species. See, in one and three column only R species R. Where is R? R is only present in habitat three but it is not present in habitat one. So beta diversity between one and three is uh, one. Okay. Now the beta diversity between uh, habitat two and three is the alpha 2 minus common between 2 and 3 plus alpha 3 minus common between 2 and 3. So how many species are common between 2 and 3? 1 species, 2 species, then 3 species and 4 species. So 5 minus 4 plus 5 minus 4 equal to 2. So which 2 species are different among 2nd and 3rd habitat? Those are C species and P species. C is only present in 2 P is only present in 3. So, these two species are different. So, that is how you can find out the beta diversity. And now, how to find out the gamma diversity? Gamma diversity is nothing but the total number of species present in all the habitat of a given region. So, here 3 habitats are present and in 3 habitats total 6 species are present. So, gamma diversity is 6 here. Okay. So, that is how you can calculate alpha beta and gamma diversity easily and on the other hand there is also another method or another uh, representation through which question may come in your examination like this okay they will give you a hypothetical region and among and under that region uh, one, two, three, four different habitats. Okay. And they will ask you what is the alpha diversity of this region, not each of the habitat. Okay. This region. What is the alpha beta diversity of this region, not among each habitat. Okay. Not between uh, two habitat. And what is the gamma diversity? So, how to find out that? First of all, you have to find out the alpha diversity for each of the habitat. See, alpha diversity for habitat one is 2, habitat 2 is 1, for habitat 3 it is 1, for habitat 4 it is 1. Okay, so what will be your average alpha diversity? Just sum up all this divided by number of total habitats. So, uh, 5 divided by, uh, what is the total number of habitats? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 5 divided by 4 equal to 1.25. So, here it will be your 4. Okay, I have forgotten to written it. It is 4 number of habitats. Now, how to find out the gamma diversity? Remember one formula, gamma equal to alpha into beta. We will need that. Okay. So, gamma equal to average alpha into types of habitat, not number of habitat, types of habitat. Okay. So, here average alpha is 1.25. We got that. And what is the types of habitat? There are four types of different habitat. Okay. So, 1.25 into 4. That will be 5. Okay. And now, how to find out the beta? We know that gamma equal to alpha into beta. So, obviously, beta will be gamma divided by alpha. Gamma is 5. Alpha is 1.25. So, beta will be your 4. Okay. That is how you can find out average alpha, then average beta and gamma value of a hypothetical uh, region. Okay. So, remember one thing. Here, this is the type of habitat. If they have given... Uh, C, A, B, A, B species in all the habitats of uh, this region, then what will be your habitat, types of habitat? That will be 1, not 4. Because they are asking about types, not number. Okay, so here types is important. So I hope you have got all these things very clear in your mind. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and happy learning.